Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Prefect infrastructure and how we can use infrastructure blocks along with our deployments to tell Prefect how and where our flow should run. There are three main types of infrastructure blocks. There's the process infrastructure block, which will allow our flow runs to run as a local process on some machine, whether or not that's our machine. We have the Docker container infrastructure block, which will run our flow as a Docker container in some Docker environments. And then the Kubernetes job infrastructure block, which will submit our flow runs as a Kubernetes job in some Kubernetes context. So what I'm going to do is deploy a simple flow using each of these three infrastructure block types to show that we don't actually need to change our code. It's just a matter of changing our prefect deployment build command and having an infrastructure block for each runtime that we want to configure. So let's go ahead and take a look at our flow here. I've got an example.py, I'll bring up my terminal. And this example.py contains a simple flow foo comprised of one task bar, which is just going to grab a logger grab the task run name from the context and print it out, say hello. And just we, just to show, we, we can run this as a regular Python file as we're all familiar with. And I'm literally run this command on my machine, so it's gonna run right here. But if we wanna go ahead and deploy this and get beautiful reindeer out in the world, we might want to specify an infrastructure block so that we can tell Prefect how to run this on our behalf. And we, we have those three options that I just mentioned. So let's start at the beginning. I've already got a process infrastructure block set up where I could specify if I wanted to like environment variables or a more descriptive name or to stream the output. But for the sake of simplicity, I'll just keep it like this. And because it's a process infrastructure block, Prefoot will submit it as such wherever I'm running my agent. So I'm going to create a deployment by running the prefect deployment build command. And I've got this in my shell history, but I'll step through it real quick. This is the file where the flow is defined, example.py. The entry point is the flow decorated function foo. I'll give it a name, process deployment, a storage block, which I don't actually need for process runtime infrastructure, but I will need for the Docker container and Kubernetes job. So I'll just use it here for consistency. And that block is called flow script storage main, which references a bucket. And I want this deployment's flow code to go in a specific subdirectory of that storage block. So I'll call it process. And then I have an infrastructure block specified here called test process, which is of process type. And I don't really care about applying the AML myself. I'll just let this command do it for me. So I'll add the apply flag here. And now I found my flow. It created the AML for me and uploaded my flow code to uh, the location I specified in my storage block. So. Now I should be ready to uh, start an agent on my machine if I want. I could start it on an EC2 instance. I could start this agent on Kubernetes using the Helm chart. But in this particular case, I'm just going to start this agent on my machine. So I want to set up a Conda environment or a Python environment that um, will match what my flow needs to run. So I'll say Conda activate a prefect2 environment that I've set up, which just has prefect. And now I can run prefect agent start. I'll just use my default queue because I didn't attach a work queue to my deployment. So now this should be ready to catch any flow runs I want to create for my deployment. So since I already created my deployment, I should be ready to go to the UI, check out my deployments and see that I already created the other deployments, but let's not pay attention to that. I'll just look at my process deployment here first, and then I'll run it now at defaults and go back to our agent. And we should see that our agent is gonna pick it up. Prefect infrastructure process. It opened process grumpy chupacabra, sounds scary. And it ran our flow. It said hello. And cool, everything worked as expected. Our flow ran locally because I'm running my agent locally and I ran this as a local process. So next step would be to create a deployment for the Docker container runtime. And in order to do that, I would need to have a Docker container infrastructure block created, which I happen to. And I called this test container. And this is again, pretty bare bones. The only thing I really specified here is that I want to pip install my file system extra, which will allow me to pull my flow code from S3 before the flow runs. And I'm doing this for the sake of demonstration, but in, um, in production, you'd probably want to build a base image that has S3FS inside of it and then specify that image right here in this image field so that you don't have to run pip install every time the flow runs. But for the purpose of demonstration, I'll just keep it simple and do it like this. 
So now all I need to do is to create a new deployment referencing that infrastructure block so that when we run our flow, it'll be run as a Docker container. So I'll just autocomplete this command and then change the stuff that I need. The stuff that I need to change, I need to change the name of this infrastructure block to be referencing the Docker container, Docker container infrastructure block named test container. I'll go back, I'll upload my flow code to a different place in my sword block. Uh, I'll call it Docker. And then I'll change the name of my deployment. So I can distinguish to Docker deployment. And note that my Python file in entry point is still the same. I'm just referencing different blocks. So I'll go ahead and create this deployment. And everything should upload and update as expected. All good. It's telling me I can use the same agent, which I will. So I'll go back to the UI, go to my deployments, go to the Docker deployment, and then I'll just run now with defaults. And we should go back to our agent and be able to see that a Docker con container has been created with status running. It's gonna go through this pip install S3FS step um, according to the extra pip packages environment variable I passed to the Docker container infrastructure block. And so once that's done installing, our flow should start. So there we go, our flow has begun and finished. And so we've just run our flow in a Docker container, great. And again, this worked because I have Docker running on my actual machine. So wherever your agent is running would have to have a Docker environment that it can submit this flow run to as a Docker container. So let's go ahead and do the last step, creating a deployment referencing a Kubernetes job infrastructure block so that we can run this flow as a job on Kubernetes. So what we need to do this is a Kubernetes job infrastructure block, which I've already created again. Similarly to last time, there's not a whole lot specified here. I'm just using the default namespace, which if I didn't specify anything, it would use as well. And I'm also going to specify this extra pip packages for our file system extra to allow us to pull our flow code, which again, you should probably include in your base image for production. But I've got this here and I'm ready to create a deployment from it. So I'll do, oh, I'll clear things out so we can see. I'll do prefect deployment build and I'll autocomplete and then just change things again. We're gonna reference our test case job infrastructure block, which is of type Kubernetes job. Kubernetes, Kubernetes job. And then I'm going to change the location for my flow code again, call it Kate. And then I'm gonna call this Kate's deployment. And that should be ready to go. So let's create that deployment, apply it right away. It found my flow. Note that this is just letting me know that the implementation of the storage block has changed. It doesn't indicate that I've done anything wrong here. Once again, it's telling me this deployment is ready to run um, on the default work queue, which I have an agent pointed at already. So I should be able to go into the UI, go to my deployments, go to my Kate's deployment and run now at defaults. And I should be able to see this get picked up and prefect infrastructure Kubernetes job. It's created a pod in pending state. Now it's in running. It's gonna go ahead and run this pip install once again. And here we go, our flow is running. We see hello from inside the task once again. And this time, this flow is run as a Kubernetes job on my local machine because I am running Kubernetes on my machine. I'm running Docker desktop. And so it used the default namespace on my machine's Kubernetes context. And it used the default prefect image because there are no external dependencies involved in this flow. If there were, I would have to build an image and then reference that image in my Kubernetes job infrastructure block. So we have successfully created three deployments based on the three different types of infrastructure blocks that we can use for our deployments. And yeah, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.